Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. This is Sean Robinson, and Sean is actually part of our podcast team. He actually has a podcast series, and he has his own podcast with The Advisor. So I want you to go check out his podcast because he has prior uh, podcasts that he's done on various topics that are really good to help you with your mindset, breaking bad habits, and learning how to improve your overall life. So today he wants to talk about a little about positive psychology, which is very interesting because we all struggle sometimes with positivity. So I'm going to give it to Sean. He's going to tell you a little about himself for anyone who doesn't know who he is. And he's going to tell, tell you different ways, tools, and strategies and how you can improve your overall life using positive psychology. So Sean, take it away because I'm very excited to hear what you have to say. Hi, Stacey. I appreciate you having me back. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about just being more positive. I spent so much of my life and, and even adult life just finding the negative in everything, being cynical. If there was something that was happening, I was looking for the way it could go bad or the way that that I could find the worst about it. And it, it just became a point where I was taking it everywhere. I was transferring it to everyone around me. And really had a hard time coming out of that mindset yeah. and held myself back in a lot of ways because of it. You know, I find that, you know, a lot of times we, we tend to sometimes come from negative environments and we tend to, we don't really realize sometimes that we are actually doing the things that we're doing. Like when we have negativity in our lives, we become negative. You know, if you grew up with a mother or a father who's negative you know, or you went through something hard in life, you sometimes get really angry or regretful, or you feel like, oh, why me? Why me? You know, and then I find that, you know, from my own experiences, you tend to look for people like that, not even realizing it. And then before you know it, you could have a whole team of friends that are negative and you're feeding, you're feeding your negative energies off of each other. And in the long run, it's only, it's only slowly destroying you mentally physically and and spiritually and you know th there has to be a time where you have to you know when you when you see your life not going the way you want it you have to learn how to pull away from it and when you you know how did you actually like when did you realize that you were just you're just consistently focusing on the negative and how did you realize how badly it was pulling you down and what did you do for so long, I, I knew that, that I was, I was that person. I knew that I was finding that negative and everything. And, and, you know, my wife would, would tell me sometimes that, you know, why are you being so cynical? Why are you being so negative? Why are you this, like, not, why are you this way? But yeah. like, like, what let me become that? And, and it, it was, it was a lot of things. It was, you know, my, my atmosphere, it was, it was some people around me. It was, a lot of how I felt about myself and, and whether it was my weight gain at the time, or it was how I felt about my career or relationships, whatever. It was like, I felt so bad about myself that I have to find that in everything else and transfer that because while I did it subconsciously, it was like, it was just something that I don't know if it made me feel better, but it just justified how, how I had felt. And to come out of that, it it was not something that was like a light switch you know you see a lot of the the, the influential people um posting and and it's like just turn that light switch or just just be positive like it's like it's easy all oh, just just be positive but yeah. that's a lot of pressure and i didn't know how to how do you just turn that light switch on right so yeah. that positivity for me came in in a really slow process of just adding a little bit more different different than I would have before. So instead of looking up that, you know, negative content or following that, that negative person on social media, I would start to, to follow someone inspirational or start to, you know, read that content that, that is more positive or has a better message or watch a show that is, is more about that positive message. And over a period of time, absorbing that content, following those people, I started to surround myself with more people like that. I started to become more like that because I had a concept of what it was like to be like that. 
right? You know, and I agree with you that the internet makes it, you know, you have these influencers, you have these celebrities, and they put a, they put a fake persona. It's kind of like the one the Brady Bunch when we were growing up as kids, you know, they made everything seem so perfect, you know, behind the scenes, everything in their life was falling apart in each of their lives. But, you know, life isn't, you know, it's not like, you, like you said, change a light switch and it's, and it's, it's, you know, boom, it's a process and it usually takes time and it's a slow process. But I think that's great advice that you start to focus more on positive people, positive people, you know, that influenced you or friends that influenced you. Because really, the more you surround yourself by positivity, I think, you know, the, the stronger you will become. And I think it also teaches us. I think, you know, I don't know how you feel about it, but I learn a lot from, I try to look for people who are maybe better than me or maybe higher than me or have more experience in an area that I want to learn about. And I keep an open mind and I learn from these people and it helps me grow and makes me feel better about myself as well. Mm -hmm. And then about the light switch, like you have to think about it more like a dimmer where you're going to turn it up or turn it on slowly. You're going to start very dim. You might not even see that this light or positivity is there. And this is true with any change, right? You start to turn yeah. that dimmer up. If you're starting to see more light, you're, you're implementing and, and including more and more of that thing you're working on. So to be more positive, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Following more content or, or, or talking to more people and, and really it, if you're not finding that stuff right away, then create that stuff, right? Become yes. more of that person. Find in in that moment that like when I was starting to, to look for that negative, it was like realizing that this thought is not a positive thought and right. catching it, stopping it at the thought level and then turning it around and looking for the positive in that same thing. Right. I, and and that's great that you're able to catch it, you know, I, and I think one of the things is that we can't be in denial, we have to be honest with ourselves. I think that's one of the biggest thing is people don't like to look at their own faults. We all have faults where no one is perfect, that the word shouldn't even be in the dictionary, but yet people, you know, do not like to look at their faults and, you know. We, it, it's great that you were able to be honest with yourself. You realize that there were certain things in your life you needed to tweak. And I always say one day at a time. That's like my my thing, one day at a time. Because, you know, in our society, we, we've come, nobody has patience anymore. Everyone wants things, one, two, three. And that's not what it's about. Nothing in life is one, two, three. And it's something said, if somebody or something is claiming to be one, two, three, then it's fake. You know, it's not real because nothing in life is one, two, three, and especially the healing process and anything you go through in life, the healing process is probably one of the slower, slower journeys. But once you get across and you hit the rainbow, that's it. You, you feel like a, a totally changed person. Definitely. And and that one, two, three is, is more the awareness of the problem, right? You're, you're not even to the point at that level when you realize that you have to do something or should do something about it. Yeah. You start to get to that point where you realize that you could change and it's already too much work and you haven't noticed a difference. So it, I, this isn't working for me. And mm -hmm. then maybe you try something else. Maybe you don't a couple of years later, perhaps it's like, Oh, I did this thing once and I felt good for a minute. I'm going to try that again. And, and maybe this time, Maybe this time it works. Maybe this time it doesn't because you you took a little bit longer. You got to four and five. And then, you know, if you had to come back to it later, maybe you gave yourself an extra chance and got to six, seven, eight, whatever the process. But yeah, most people, I think, stop, including me, like I speak from from my own journey. It's yeah. I didn't give myself enough time in the past until I did. Right. And once once I, I stayed focused, had the goals, um, I, I started to get beyond that point where I'd give up in the past and really yeah. see some growth and really see that, that with a bit more time and a, trying a few more things, I, I was starting to find stuff that was going to stick things that worked for who I was at that time right. to, to be able to keep going. I noticed for myself, I, I was like, I, I like journaling. Journaling seemed to help me get out of my negativity because sometimes I just had so many repressed emotions and by writing them down, I, I got it out of my system. And then I created like short-term goals and long-term goals. And then I tried to, 
you know, I didn't give myself like a, I have to accomplish this much in, you know, the next couple of days, like, whatever I was able to do, as long as I got one thing done, I was, I was happy. And I was like, I, and I did something, whether it was taking a salt bath with some Epsom salts that smelled nice or taking a walk around the block, you know, or, you know, having my, treating myself to a matcha tea or something like that. I, I did something to reward myself, but I, I feel like it's like, you know, um, you know, like there's different strategies we could use to help us get that negativity out of our lives. Did you ever do anything like journaling or short-term goals and long-term goals? Did you ever try any certain strategies that seem to be like really effective in your life? Yeah, absolutely. My, and, and coming from, like, I come from construction, I come from firefighting, I come from these masculine environments and, right. and there's a lot more about that on our other episodes, but, but um, journaling for me was, was a place that I didn't even realize I was starting. It was just as I had a book and I vented about everything that was going on. And I came back to this, this journal and, and would, would outlet. And then, and it was great because I could do that in, in the same fashion and not have to justify it. I didn't have to listen to it. If I didn't want to, to have any feedback or, right. um, you know, judgment or someone trying to fix it, yeah, uh, I didn't have to. So yeah, journaling was was great for for that, and and yeah, you think we we are gonna feel negative. We are gonna have those moments, and and journaling is a place to bring context to it that we can have that outlet, look back at it later, and decide if we need to have an action for ourselves or mm -hmm. if we need to just park it for later. And right. then putting that in that journal is is another way to to have that awareness to say, okay, well, I don't want to feel this way anymore, or I don't like the way that that thing made me feel. So then setting those micro goals or setting, setting that bigger goal to say, okay, well, if, if I don't like the way that I'm writing about this because of how I felt in that moment, then what are these small goals that can get me to, to feeling better to get me to, to another, another place. Right. And and uh, an example of something that I did uh, with uh, with my kids was there was there was a lot of negativity. We we'd get to the dinner table and and we try to eat together most nights and and it was like there'd be so much negativity. Like they'd find we would just we would only talk about the things that upset us in the day. Yeah. And and I I, I found this uh, this resource and and it was like fate talking about yeah you know, your favorite thing. So every day at dinner. To try like just to try and curb some of this negativity i said okay well we're gonna do this thing now and every day we're gonna take turns there's i have three small kids and my yeah. wife there's five of us we're gonna take turns and we're gonna talk about our favorite thing and and it, in the beginning it was difficult and especially like if i come home from a miserable day or my wife yeah. and like we're trying to lead this thing to help bring the kids around from this negative place um like it was, it was a struggle. And, and yeah. like in the beginning, it was like, what, what can you do? Or what, what happened to you today? That, that was your, you know, your favorite thing. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't have to be much. It can be just a joke that uh, made, that you made you laugh, or it could be, you know, a pretty color of something, or it could be, you know, just that this moment you had a thought made you smile. Yeah. And in the beginning, when we started to pick those things out, um, it then started to take off. And, it didn't matter who we had for dinner. Like the, my kids would, would go around the table and we would all have to share. Right. Or if we, like my wife had a work meeting and she uh, closed the work meeting by having everyone in, in the group share this favorite thing. And then That's just awesome. like, now my kids have 10 and 20 things sometimes. Like they, they find all of these great things in their day. And it, it all started by just looking for that one thing that happened or uh, that was just their favorite or the most positive. I think that's amazing because you, you just talked about breaking a bad habit that we all do. And I, I was smiling when you said it, because I tend to do that a lot. Me, me and my husband, we come home from a, like a long day at work and he's complaining about something that happened because he has no one to eject it to. And then I'm complaining about something and all you're hearing is negativity and that's not good, you know? And I, I think that's an amazing idea is that think about something good or something positive or something funny that happened to to you because you know what especially when you have kids if you're if you're always talking about something negative those kids are going to just suck it up like a vacuum and they're going to they're going to pick up that bad habit and they might just become negative people just by us being an example of that not even realizing that we are their mentors and we don't realize mm -hmm. it sometimes but 
our behaviors, you know, our kids follow our behaviors. Just like if you have puppies or dogs, you'll notice that your dogs will amplify your behavior. So if you, you're a calm person, you're probably going to have a calm dog. If you're a hyper person, you might have a, a dog jumping on the couch and go all over the place, you know, they, people, you know, our energies amplify each other, you know? So I think that's an amazing idea, you know? And I think, you know what? I think I'm going to use that idea and start doing that in my home because I think that's an awesome idea. Thank you. I, I, I recommend it. It's, it, it was, it was so difficult to try and get it started because I mean, it was just an idea that, that, you know, had, I had learned and uh, heard about in a, on a podcast or something and to try and implement it for ch children to, to bring it to a point where they would go from this place. And, and yeah. yeah, I'd get, we'd get home. My wife and I get home and like, how's your day? Ah, busy or I don't know, miserable. This person did this thing and I didn't like it. Or, mm -hmm. you know, every version of that yeah. to, to go, to go from that to like taking that awkward or upset moment or quiet moment where there wasn't anything going on and just say, okay, everyone like, what's your favorite thing today? And then yeah. the conversations that have come from that place afterwards because if we're you know not in the mood to talk much but then all of a sudden we're having this this fun moment and like my youngest is three and a half and she she's playing the game with great context too about things that happened at daycare and and you know seeing like whoever picked her up you know my daddy picked yeah. me up today and that was one of my favorite things and just um, having that like really fun special moment that that we've then built off of and gone into other positive uh conversation and and it, it doesn't have to be that you only do this at the dinner table too because we can do this in our own minds right yeah that's how we start to reframe looking for that positivity in a negative situation so right instead of, instead of thinking about the horrible things that happened in a day we're looking for that thing that made us smile or that thing that made us positive mm -hmm. And whenever we catch ourselves in a negative mindset and and feeling that place, we can stop and say, what's that thing that, that like, what's the beauty in this moment? Or what's yeah. that thing that happened today? And then it could be anything. We, we can always find something. We just have oh, to yeah. be aware of it. And I, I think that's like, when I was, I was talking to you earlier, I was like, that's what got me through life is like, when you have your ups and downs and you live life and sometimes life could be a roller coaster ride. If you stop and you take you look at every negative thing that happens and say okay how what, what's positive about this and you stop and think and you could try to pull something positive out of it like i was saying to you earlier it made me stronger it made me wiser you know i know now that you can't do x y and z and that i have to do it this way instead and you know it made me it made me a better person somehow and then in the end i took all just like you did and you're doing right now I took everything I went through in life and then I helped myself and then helped others. And so I didn't let it, let, let it dig a hole, just like you went through all your obstacles and you didn't let it dig a hole and you didn't fall in that hole. We got ourselves out and now we're, we're helping others. So people could take that same example, you know, like everybody has a story. I feel we all go through our ups and downs, but the question is, how do we overcome and how can we make ourselves a better person? And then how can we use that knowledge to help others? Because I think if the world, if everyone stopped for a second, had some gratitude and had some kindness and, and showed some care, can you imagine how great the world would be? It would start to be become a lot better place. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. And it, it's it's just one person at a time, right? It, right. It, it's not about going out and try, trying to change everybody and and there was a lot I had to learn about the people around me as I started to, to try different things and, and have a different mindset and change because there are people that want to bring you down. Yes. There are people that remember the old you and the way that you used to talk to them or the way that you used to interact. And I had people that were like, thought I was interested in the same things. And uh, this wasn't like Monday, I'm one way, Tuesday, I'm the next. This is right. over a period of time, but like right. we don't see everybody in our life all the time. Yeah. So, you know, there'd be people I'd run into months down the road. And it was like, you know, I still have, they're still friends or still, you know, nice to them and yeah, ha have good relationships, but just not talking or interested in the same things because I'm just not feeling negative like that or I'm not into bashing different things or talking about different things. And, right. Um, just another a point to add, um, there was a lot that held me in that negative space 
because it, it was a lot of pressure to to come out of it it was like yeah. it was woo woo it was whatever and and then i can't be that person because this is just the way i am and you just you want to continue being you know in that headspace but it's 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 not that every moment that we go through is then positive well i'm just thinking right. about something positive or find my favorite like we have to appreciate that there's going to be moments that that we just don't have any control over that right aren't going to have something amazingly positive that we're going to easily pick out, you know, right. the, and it can be yeah. anything, but we have to remember those moments will come, right. Yes. That, 100%. that, that joke, like that, that moment, that, that beauty, whatever it is, we look for, for positivity yes. in a negative moment, we know that that's coming. Yes. Right. So an example is like, talk go back to the dinner table. It was just misery and, and to change it up, yeah. I asked the the Google uh, Mini mm -hmm. to tell us a joke. So the, the Google told us a joke, and it was a silly dad style joke. Yeah, yeah. And the, we all laughed, and then immediately changed the environment. It just immediately changed it. So it's it's sometimes it's about creating that change, and yeah. then you can get into that other conversation or get out of that mm -hmm. other mindset. And the other time, it's just knowing that that moment will come you get through that hard part and then you look for that beauty you look for that positivity in the next moment or even thinking about something that happened that conversation at the dinner table yeah just think about that moment where your three-year-old daughter was talking about this thing that made her day and it, it becomes your you know your mental positive note that you can come back to yeah. You know, that's a great idea. I, you know, I never even thought about it. You know what, if you, if you, if you're looking at each other, you don't have anything to say, what you can go on Google and you can ask Surrey or someone, you know, say, okay, tell me a joke, you know, a stupid joke that, you know, that, you know, would make everybody laugh. And then, you know, most likely the joke will pop up and, you know, it, it probably will make people laugh because it's so stupid, you know, and you don't yeah. think to ask, you know, there was always a way though, you know, there's always a way, you know, that's what it comes down to. Then you you cut that tension and that negativity and that you know the, the awkward moment. You just you just get rid of it because then we're we're silly. We're laughing about yeah. how how awful that joke was or how like terrible <laughs> that story was or or just you know that that moment that would have probably gone on and, and could have been the entire evening. Right. Instead, we found a way to to just just cut it. And, right. and, you know, that's not going to work every time, right? It all of yeah. a sudden you do that every, every time it's going to get old and, it, you know, you might not find the, it might not work the same way, but right. that's an example. There's, there's other, other things that we can do, even if it's something as silly as just like, let's go outside and then we'll come back in and start over. And then yeah. maybe you, you kind of laugh about that concept where you just, you act out this, yeah. this like coming home again, where we can start over right. or um, like my son, like we, he, he's ha have some, he's eight, he's some moments and, and, and we've started this thing where if, if we've, if he's been upset and created some, some, uh, you know, tension, we will then um, like fist bump and we'll say, well, you know, we'll have 23 hours to, for awesome. Like it's 23 hours to awesome. And the point is that we're not going to let that one hour ruin our day. Right. That's a great idea. And it, it turns it, turns it right around. We've come right around and I've had moments too. I was upset and you know, I went and apologized to him and he's, he just goes to fist bump me and he says 23 hours to awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's a great, that's a great idea, you know, because sometimes we hold grudges, you know, and, or we get mad and we're just like, something makes us upset. And is it really worth it? Is it really worth to ruin the whole day over something that's probably meaningless? And so, you know, and, or just like, you know, be, be, you know, be man enough or, you know, and step up to the plate and say, you know what? I'm sorry. And then you just, both of you just like say, okay. And then you just move on, you know, that that's a great, that's a great way to do things, you know, because I always say too, it's like, you, you never, you know, we don't want to say, think about it, but you never know what tomorrow might bring. We don't know when our last day here is. We assume we're going to be here forever, but if today was our last day, how would you be, you know? Would you be mm -hmm. negative? Would you live life up to the fullest? You know, so maybe we should have the mentality of living every day like our last, you know, and 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 really like, you know, 
absorbing it and and having gratitude for each moment that goes by and there's a lot of there's a lot of power in that and and thinking that way because you you, you appreciate more moments uh that you wouldn't normally or that yeah you you'd go the whole evening because i'm just not talking to this person and <laughs> i definitely think there's a time for that right like you, maybe it's not the second you've had the disagreement or the second this has happened let it right. stew let it stew for a minute yeah but then other times you you tell siri google whoever to tell you that joke and it's quickly over yeah. it's you know you're reading your environment and you're you just know when but that apology and that 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 being vulnerable like that that's a huge part of it it's it's not about who's right or wrong it's that the moment happened you acknowledge you're part of it and then you think that this isn't how I want to spend my evening or my week or weekend or life or whatever and you just just realize what you have to do to move right. forward and and we can't control anybody else if someone right. else isn't ready for that that doesn't you know mean that it's fixed it just means that you don't have to stay in that space because you can respect someone else but it's 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 more about where your mindset is and where you're going and and you can you can go tell get google to tell you joke by yourself or go look at something that that makes you feel better just to get out of that space and i like how you said before like you you know there are some people that you know you just kind of you, you, you grew differently like you know you went down one path they went down the other path you know and you just didn't have anything more in common and you know the way they were thinking was not the same mindset as you you know and so you just kind of separated yourself you didn't have anything against the person you know you saw them in the street like you said and you said hello and blah blah blah, blah. but you know you knew enough to say you know what that person's not a healthy person to have in my life you know they're 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 a nice person but they're not right for me and you know and I think sometimes we have to do that we have to really look at who we are and where we want to be and and you know and then make wise choices as best as possible yeah and, and it's a lot of pressure too to think about whether or not that person is or isn't isn't for us and 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 criticizing what they may be but it's but if, if we're not into baseball as an example yeah. or be, like, we're with a baseball player and all they want yeah. to do is talk and play baseball you know we and we don't want to do that anymore yeah we're so we're not playing baseball or talking baseball anymore we're naturally going to grow apart right there's just becomes less and less and maybe oh, it happens over a period of time it's not an instant thing it's just all of a sudden we just for whatever reason feel we don't like baseball anymore yeah. so then we're we're going to grow apart and and if that's if that's anything else if that's you know positivity to negativity or that's any version of fitness and wellness growth whatever the more that we like something different than mm -hmm. than the people we're used to being with the more we'll grow apart and that doesn't mean we grow entirely apart that we may not grow apart at all, but because right. because everybody likes different things. But if there's people that we were very, you know, spend a lot of time doing the same thing with, and we are going to change that, you know, you might grow apart a bit and then you, hopefully you can still stay in contact, still stay friends, whatever. Yeah. And then and, and maybe you just naturally grow apart. And, and in that process, you'll find new friends you'll be with new people because whatever it is you whatever growth you get to into that new stage of your life and that new thing you're into you grow towards people that are more into that stuff too right exactly and i think the the more you surround yourself by, around people that meet your your needs you know then you'll start to meet more and more people like that and you know and you'll have a new circle of friends and a new circle of energy and, you know, and you'll start to see yourself change because their good energy will rub off on you and your good energy will rub off on them. And before you know it, you're going to see a new person, you know, a better person. And I think that even that positivity can even boost your self-esteem and make you feel better as a person, which could lead you to elevate to no end, you know? Yeah. And it doesn't mean that, that, like if positivity, if you're starting to try and eliminate some of that old negative mindset, some of that old old thoughts, it's like the stuff that that I was holding on to and finding yeah. the, the worst in everything, just to bring myself back down to where I felt comfortable or those around me, you know, you start to get away from that. That doesn't mean that 
um, you need to, to, to let the people around you hold you there. And this could be mm-hmm. close friends. This, this could be family. Right. This, and, and we, we have to, to give ourselves credit that we don't have to stay anywhere that we don't feel comfortable that we, that isn't where we want to be. And, and if that means we're seeing less and less of our family, or that means that we're not seeing the same people or that we not put ourselves in that environment as often as we used to for the sake of where we want to grow to we have to be able to do that yes i agree you know and you know even with family members sometimes family members could bring you down also and it, and that's when like you said you sometimes you have to distance yourself from those people and when you do find you know I, sometimes it's, it's natural to be in a positive frame and then something happens and you can get knocked back down into that negative frame because something hits you that you didn't expect and you know immediately you're upset you fit you get into that negative emotion but the key is to get yourself quickly out of it like you were mentioning earlier and to mm-hmm. you know because we all go through our ups and downs but it's 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 stopping ourselves before you know, or learning how to, even if we get knocked down to, to get back up and not let the, you know, not let the negativity override us. Mm -hmm. And even better, if we're starting to get better, we're starting to get more positive and the the closest people around us see what, what we're working on, they see what's working. And then our positivity and our growth translates to them, right? They, they start to want to be a part of that. They start doing some of the things they see us doing. And then you have a bad day and your eight-year-old's there to fist bump you and tell you, you know, you're, you're going to be awesome. And it's like, you just create that circle around you with, with the people that you're with. It doesn't mean that you're leaving anything behind. It's that by giving yourself a chance, you you may bring those people with you and, and you may create your entire circle better. Right. But by becoming that person, by inviting that positivity, among other things, it's it's allowing that to happen. If you don't start to create that for yourself, then it may it it won't happen on its own. Right. It definitely won't it no. won't bring you out of that. Like if you start to consciously pay attention and, and get out of that, then it could change your entire circle. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's an excellent point, you know, because it, all you need is that one good person, that one good strong energy, and it, it could change a group of people, you know, and and people who, you know, become envious and, you know, they don't know how to get there, but they don't want to ask for help or they, 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 you could see that they, they, they're, they're mad because they like, they want to be in the spot you're, you're feeling, but they don't know how. Maybe it is time to take a little break from them until they're able to, you know, want to make that change in their life. Because really, you can't you can't change anybody unless they want to change themselves. And it took so long sometimes for, when I look at life, you know, there's so many people that I cared about that I knew they just need a little bit of help, but they didn't want to change. And that's the thing. You know, some people are comfortable being negative. Some people don't want to change. And it's, it's, it's not, it's not our job to make them change because it won't work. We we can't change people. They have to want to get to that point in life where they don't want to feel the way they're feeling anymore. And yeah, that took and me then, a while. To learn. And same here. I was there, I was there for a long time. It, it was just my biggest excuse was this is just who I am. It was never something that I'd allow, I would never allowed change for myself. And, yeah. and when somebody else was, was seeing that change or seeing that, that, that progress, it was like, then I put on this victim mindset where it's like, oh, well, that's not going to happen to me. That's uh, I'm here because it's just that I haven't got the magic genie yet or haven't won the lottery yet. Like all the things we tell ourselves, like, yeah, I didn't have it until I started making my own changes, but, but it was, it was not something that was going to fall in my lap. It was not something that was, I was just going to wake up one day and I'm sure this might happen, but right. it, it wasn't something that was just the light switch was going to go. It was, it was, it was something that was, was building over time. And, yeah. and, and to, to go back a bit on, on getting started, cause that's where a lot of that pressure comes from. Like, how do yeah. I just turn this, where does this dimmer switch? Where do I, where do I go here? <laughs> yeah. It was, it, it's just about, for me, it was about changing the things that I'd read and listened to and, and watched. Yeah. You start, you start to, to change the input, mm-hmm. then you, you change the output. Right. So, the easiest one for me was was 
doom scrolling social media, the things I was looking through before you start to, I started to unfollow stuff that I wasn't finding productive, that I wasn't yeah. finding positive. Right. And I'd, and then when you start to unfollow that stuff, start looking for other things. You can search anything. There is any mindset, anything you want to, any hobby, all of it is out there. Yeah. Your algorithm will change with you. It will. So start to follow those things that give you that um, affirmation that you're you're going down the right path. Yeah. Look for things that you want to feel like, things that you want to see. And, and then it will help reprogram if you right. will that mindset that you had because you're you're starting to absorb more and more of those things and and the crazy thing is is when i started to make those changes that you were just mentioning people started falling on my life out of nowhere i started meeting people with that same positive energy that i wanted and that i was trying to to get at that time it was like as soon as i got rid of the negativity and I started focused on trying to find that positivity. And I was like you, I was listening to positive people and positive speakers and getting good positive impact. And then out of nowhere, I started meeting people and they had the same mindset as me. And it was, it was crazy. It's like they fell into my lap out of nowhere. It's just, I started meeting people and they were all exactly with the same type of mindset and they were all go-getters and they all wanted the same things in life. And I was like, wow, it's just, it's so weird how the universe plays a role, how things start to sometimes when you have a, a really positive mindset, when you start to realize what you, who you are and what you want in your life, how some things just fall into place. Yeah, it's, it, it is, it's, it's real. It, and, and the thing is like where I used to be, it, it followed me there too. It follows us negatively. It follows us both directions. So yeah. if we're looking for the worst, if we're looking for the most negative, if we're, if we're in that space, then we're, we're going to find it. Yeah. If, if we feel like this, this is uh, not where we're supposed to be. And we, we think can't all the time. I can't uh, lose weight. I can't be more positive. Then you're going to find all the reasons that you can't. Yes. If you start to think I can and I'm going to, then you look for those reasons that you can and that that you you will. Yeah. And and like you said, those people or those situations will also follow. You'll find more positive environments just like you'll find more negative. So you start yeah. once you start to think about it that way, it definitely follows and it definitely attracts. Oh yeah. I I agree totally. I I totally believe in the universe and the energy because the, the whole world is energy. Really, you know, if we didn't have energy, we wouldn't be here. You know, that's how our the world runs through energy and it's positive energy that creates more positive energy. So it's like you like we said, you put out and you will receive and you know, it's just changing that mindset and you've given so many great pieces of advice today now if you had to sum that all up like in, in a couple of really really good takeaways how would you how would you like tell people like you know okay first thing you need to do is this and then maybe give some some you know a kind of a synopsis of of you know what people important factors people really need to remember i think i think the biggest one and and this is everything that that i promote and everything that that I've worked through and the changes I've made personally is we've got to stop thinking great big picture have that big picture in mind but start with that first step and yeah. in in thinking more positive and, and being more like that person you might want to be is changing that input so it could be that you're you're not doing anything else but watching maybe a tv show that a it could be a comedy. It could be a sitcom, right? Go yeah. watch Friends again. But you're watching this this show that that or seeing this this thing that that makes you smile or that gives you that good feeling, and then you build from that. You know, yeah. you, you start to to implement some of the things that you're seeing and some of the the, the attitudes that you're seeing, and you you just start to catch when you're feeling certain way you're starting right. to feel negative you're starting to to you're going to comment about something and 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 try to to create that or gossip or whatever it is catch yourself at that moment and re redirect right. do something else or, or change something else find the positive in it so changing the input was the biggest thing if it's social media if it's what you watch that doesn't mean you can't have your favorite shows just know that it's going to change 
how you feel about a moment when you, yeah. when you see things in a different perspective. Right. No, it's so true. So true. Because even like, if you, if you like, for example, if you put sad music on, you're going to start to feel sad. If you put an upbeat and happy music, guarantee you're going to feel happy, you know, and these are like, you know, it's really exactly what you open your, your, your mind and, and your life to is, is really what, you know, you're going to absorb and how you're going to feel and how you're going to think. So it is very important to keep that, you know, to keep everything around you positive, you know, and to focus on the positive and, you know, and have a positive, you know, environment around you. And if you don't, like you said, make some changes, like at dinner time, you know, break those bad habits and change it around. I, I think that's amazing. I think that's great. And do you have any other tips for anybody before we, uh, we before we start to close? Um, I think I think the biggest tip is just just keep going. Like you don't want to to stop too early. It any change, um, being more positive, anything you're working on, it takes it takes some time. Yeah. So just just keep going. Just just yeah. keep going. Set set your goals for however many days. If it's you know two months, three months. Uh, I think a hundred days has been the magic place for me. Mm -hmm. So just, just commit to, to change over a period of time and, and it'll work for you. You'll start to see the difference. Yeah, that's excellent advice. And can you tell everybody a little about the services that you provide? Uh, so right now I'm, I'm sharing all my uh, content on TikTok and YouTube, personal short videos um, with inspirational content and, and advice and just stuff I'm working on. And then I've got um, a newsletter that goes out. I uh, sign up through my website, seanrobinson.ca. Every week I've got video, podcast reference, and uh, and and just inspirational content that I put out. And uh, through my website, I've got I've been on plenty of podcasts at this point, and and just lots of different uh, content that uh, I'm trying to speak to, and just trying to share the growth that I'm working on, the place that I used to be at, and the place that. Uh, um, you know, I've been able to get to by working through these changes. And can you tell everybody your website? It's seanrobinson.ca. And also, um, I wanted to ask you, I just had it in my head. Um, oh, geez. Wait, I just, ha I had. <laughs> okay, so your book, that's what I was, I, I went blank for a second. You have authored a book. And so you tell everybody briefly about the book and where they can find it. Yeah, so in the in the beginning of, of my journey when uh, everything else was so confusing, um, I decided to take a break from drinking alcohol. I journaled about the whole process. It was uh, uh, a lot more context in our first interview, but um, I took that journal, created a book. It's called Going Dry, My Path to Overcoming Habitual Drinking, and it's the start of, of this this process of changing habits, accepting vulnerability, and and keeping consistent with uh, with the things I'm working on. And it's it's a real version of the kind of things I went through trying to figure out the person that uh, that I, I wanted to, to be. That's awesome. And can we find this on Amazon? Because that can people get it on Amazon? Yep, yeah, it's on Amazon. It's uh, linked through my website as well. It's also available, uh, I think uh, Barnes and Noble, okay. Chapters Indigo, a lot of the, the bookstores have it available. So uh, if you want to go that route, route as well. And uh, there's an e-reader version on, on Amazon as well, if you want the Kindle version. Oh, cool. Excellent. Like always, this has been a pleasure. I am so, you know, I love when you come on, you have such great input and everything you talk about is so valuable. You know, when it comes to, you know, self-improvement overall, you know, helping, you, 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 uh, you know, yourself, you know, improve your mind, body and spirit and, and to be able to break, you know, bad habits and, and talking about how, how to gain positivity. These are such important factors that people really need to make sure that they, they kind of retune them every year because, you know, it's, it's, it's like a, it's a daily process, really. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change. And you could easily slip backwards if you don't consistently tune yourself up. So it's like, you know, these are such great pieces of advice that you shared today. 
And these are very easy things you can incorporate in your life, but it could make such drastic positive changes also at the same time. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Thank you for sharing your life story with us. Thank you for everything, you know, and for anyone who hasn't seen Sean's last podcast, he has several podcasts already recorded and we, he talks about such amazing topics and he gives such great advice. So I encourage you to go on to one of the social platforms and look up Sean Robertson and look up, um, you know, on the advisor, he's everywhere. You'll, you'll see him. He has his own podcast page right now and you'll have all his, uh, videos. If you go on to the advisor, he has his own page and you'll be able to see all his podcasts. So thank you so much, Sean. I really appreciate all this. And I'll put all the information about Sean in the description. So you could find out about his book, about his website and all the different things that he does and how he could help you. So thank you so much, Sean. This has been a pleasure. Yes, thank you, Stacey. I appreciate it. Uh, you're very welcome. You have a great day. You too. Thank you.